Now I would like to show you and tell you a little bit more about some of the features on the machine. Um, if you want to come over here, we have uh, obviously e-stops and then we have a saw stroke feed control right here so you can change it depending on the part size. Here we have a nice uh, toolbox to organize all your drill bits and router bits and, and tools to change the thing with the caliper. It all comes with the machine. And then inside here, we have on the in-feed side, we have a photo eye where we remeasure the part when it loads it to make sure that the operator loaded the correct stock length. Then we use uh, clutch rollers for horizontal rollers to keep tension on the part at all times as it moves through the machine. Another feature we have here, this is a plunger, we call it. It's a, a probe that measures from the back of the part to the back fence, which is the roller. If there is a bow in a, in a mullion, yeah, let's say there's a 16 bow, it's away from the back fence, before it drills holes on the top or bottom, it compensates and moves the whole pattern over so it still has the same reference from the back of the mullion. And then we have our saw system here, it's very much sealed up, and we use a air curtain on the in-feed side of the saw clamp and the out-feed side so when it cuts it keeps all the chips inside and a vacuum chamber underneath takes the chips outside the machine so it keeps it fairly clean. We also have a second vacuum port in the back of the drill so it sucks some of the chips over there out into the vacuum port in the back and it makes it for easy cleanup because you just blow all the chips in that direction and it sucks it all out of the machine. The next thing here I want to show you on the back of the machine, our oil system. As you can see, we have uh, uh, oil nozzles on our top, front, and bottom drill, and saw plate. And there's a control unit for that in the back of the machine here. With the oil tank, uh, a low oil sensor, it will prompt you on the screen if we run low on oil. And here's the adjustments for each oil for top, front, and bottom drill and saw. You can adjust the air volume that goes to the nozzle and the drops per minute so you can micro adjust exactly how much oil and very efficient, not waste any oil. And here's a little glimpse of the, the brains of this operation here. We have a total of 14 uh, servo motors and axis, drill axis, and these are the, the, the moving axis. Two motion controllers to do an uh, interpolated motion. And we also use a, a VFD drive, a variable frequency drive for your saw motor. So it has a soft start, a soft stop, and a braking, where you can break the motor within about 5 seconds, a 22-inch blade. And down here we have all your low voltage and safety circuitry. And here you can see the vacuum port from the back and one for the saw plate. And here's all the control valves and all the other stuff, main shot of valve. And this is our conveyor drive and obviously like I said this thing is normally 38 feet long to handle up to 32 foot stock lengths and you can load 10 stock lengths and have one being fapped at the same time on the conveyor. The next thing I want to show you is again some curtain wall but I want to show you what happens when we drill and route at the same time. Acknowledge, load it, done. Again we have a 76 inch stock length start the cycle, load a part on there, say OK, we start our saw motor,
finished marks coming up. Put the label on. Here you can see the routes and the holes for your shear blocks. Pushing out the rest of the park.